So this is the last day of the school. Uh, and um, uh, our first speaker for today is uh, um, Professor Yuzuke Nomura from Keio University. And he will give us an overview of symmetry adapted vanier functions, including both at the theoretical sort of lecture and a hands-on tutorials. Uh, and so this is going to be two, a two hours um, uh, session with uh, 30, 40 minutes talk plus, plus the hands-on tutorials. Thank you a lot, Yuzuke, for accepting our invitation. And please, the, the floor is yours. Okay, thank you very much for the introduction. So my name is uh, Yusuke Nomura from Japan. And the first, I'd like to thank the organizers for inviting me to this very nice conference. And uh, also, I'm very sorry that I cannot attend in person. Okay, okay let me uh, start. So before going into the uh, main topic, uh, let me give just two advertisements. The first one is uh, actually, uh, we have just started a new group at Keio University. And if you are interested in, uh, please uh, visit uh, my group website here. Yeah. So the, uh, the advertisement number two, is uh, QE Ellipse. So it is an uh, open source program package for quantum espresso to compute irreducible representation of the growth wave functions. And the paper uh, is, uh, you can find the paper here and also the program from this GitHub page. And uh, actually, uh, we also have an interface to check topological math and uh, from the QE Ellipse. So if you are interested in, uh, please visit this uh, GitHub page or this paper, okay? So uh, let me uh, start. So let me briefly uh, explain the uh, maximum localized one functions. So basically what we get from the DFT calculation is uh, this kind of proof state. Then the transformation from the broth state uh, from uh, from broth state to one states are given by these uh, equations. Then this in this uh, equation, the unitary matrix U is obtained by minimizing the total spread of the one functions. So basically, this is the idea of the maximally localized one functions. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. But sometimes uh, in the maximally localized one functions, the symmetry of the one function is broken. The famous uh, example is given by uh, kappa. So in the case of kappa, if we put the initial projection of the S and D orbitals at kappa atoms, then uh, after the maximally localized one functions, then uh, we obtain the uh, not atom centered S orbital, but uh, uh, the, S of, the center of the S orbitals is located at some interstitial position. Okay. The reason why uh, the symmetry of the one function is broken is that the maximum localization procedure does not care about symmetry. Okay. But sometimes we want to keep the symmetry of the one function, right? Then uh, uh, Ray Sakma uh, proposed a way to combine the maximum localization procedure and the symmetry constraint. So basically the, uh, the symmetry adapted one functions are obtained by the, uh, uh, the combination of the maximum localization procedure plus uh, symmetry constraint. Then uh, we can obtain the irreducible representation of uh, a subgroup of the full symmetry group, or a irreducible representation of the site symmetry group. And this functionality is now available in the uh, 190, and it is available uh, from version three of 190. Okay. Then uh, basically uh, what we obtain is the, uh, the irreducible representation of site symmetry group. So let me uh, briefly explain what site symmetry group is. 
Okay. The side symmetry group is a subgroup of full symmetry group whose symmetry operations does not change, do not change the position of the site. Okay. Let me show an example using the two-dimensional uh, square lattice. In this case, uh, the, uh, it is the C4, C4B symmetry group. And uh, the symmetry group consists of consists of eight symmetry operations. So the symmetry group symmetry operations are the C four rotations, ninety degrees, one hundred eighty degrees, and uh, uh, two hundred seventy degrees, and the three hundred sixty degrees, and also the reflection reflection along the x axis, and also along the y axis and the uh, uh, diagonal uh, directions in these directions and also these uh, directions. And then uh, if we uh, uh, consider the Wyckoff position of 0, 0, then at this 0, 0 point, all the symmetry group does not, do not change the position of 0, 0. It means that the uh, site symmetry group at zero zero uh, consists of all the symmetry group, and the multiplicity of the site is just one. Okay. But if we uh, consider the Wyckoff position of one half zero, then uh, around this one half zero, we do not have uh, C four symmetry. Uh, about this point. So then the, uh, in this case, the, uh, the, the number of uh, the site symmetry group consists of four symmetry operations without C4 rotational symmetry. Then the multiplicity of the site is two. So if we apply the C4 rotational symmetry to this point, then this point move to uh, this point. So it means that the multiplicity is given by the number of full symmetry group uh, divided by the number of symmetry operations in the uh, size symmetry group. Okay. Then uh, uh, the concept of the uh, symmetry adapted one function is to put symmetry constraint to the uh, maximum localized one functions. Then uh, this is a schematic picture for the uh, symmetry adapted one functions. So in the case of uh, maximally localized one functions, we try to find the global minimum of the total spread from the from all the unitary transformation space. Okay. But in this uh, symmetry adapted mode, uh, we put constraint on this uh, unitary matrix. So it means that the space uh, for finding the minimum becomes smaller, like this. Then uh, the sometimes the uh, minimum, the global minimum in this smaller uh, subspace becomes local minimum within the uh, within all the uh, subspace. Of course, in many cases, uh, these two uh, one maximally localized one functions uh, become becomes uh, the same as the symmetry adapted mode, symmetry, symmetry adapted one functions. But sometimes the symmetry adapted one function becomes different uh, from maximally localized one functions. And if they are different, the total spread of the uh, symmetry adapted one function. Uh, should be bigger than the uh, maximally localized one functions. Okay. Then uh, here, let me uh, explain a little bit more about how to put symmetry constraint on the uh, unitary matrix. Okay. Because uh, we are considering the uh, symmetry, uh, what we need to consider uh, is the uh, unitary matrix for the irreducible or k point. 
Then for other k point, we can reproduce the unitary matrix from the uh, symmetry operations. So what we care, what we need to care is just a uh, irreducible or uh, k point. Then uh, the U of k for this uh, irreducible k point, uh, the, the this unitary matrix should satisfy this equation. So here uh, we have two different matrix. One is D tilde and uh, the other is uh, capital D. And these two matrices are related to symmetry. And I will explain a little bit more later. And this G of K is the symmetry operations that, that do not change the position of K point. Then uh, once U of K at irreducible K point satisfy this symmetry constraint, then the uh, unitary matrix for other K point can be reproduced by the symmetry operations like this. And then the key quantities, uh, this, uh, this D tilde matrix and also this capital D uh, matrix. Okay, then uh, let me explain uh, what these uh, matrices are. So first, first, let me start from capital D. So capital D matrix shows the transformation of symmetry adapted one engaged block functions by the symmetry operations. So this uh, Broch uh, wave function is the uh, one engaged uh, Broch function. Then we apply this symmetry, op symmetry operations to G. Then this uh, Broch like uh, uh, functions are transformed by this uh, formula. So this transformation is given by this uh, uh, capital D uh, matrix. On the other hand, uh, in the case of D tilde case, so it shows the transformation of the consham numerically obtained numerically obtained the consham prof wave function by the symmetry operations. So this is the consham uh, wave function obtained the uh, DFT calculations. Then uh, we apply this uh, uh, symmetry operations. Then uh, these consham wave functions are transformed by this uh, formula. And uh, the information of uh, these two matrices are written in uh, seedname.dmn file in the case of uh, symmetry adapted mode. So this is the this is the flow of the calculation. So basically, the flow of the calculation is basically the same as the case of maximally localized one-year functions. But we need additional or input. But additional inputs are very simple. So here we assume that we already performed the NSCF calculations. And also we already uh, created .nnkp file uh, using the pre-processing of the 1E90. Then uh, what uh, we do is first to run the uh, PW2 1E90 uh, to create the AMN and also the MNN file in the case of maximally localized one functions. But in the case of uh, symmetry adapted mode, additionally, uh, we need the information of uh, this uh, capital D and also this uh, uh, D tilde. Then uh, if we put additional input of light DMN in the PW21.in, uh, then uh, this PW21E90 and create the additional input of the uh, seed name.dmn file. And in this uh, uh, DMN file, the, cap the information of capital D and uh, tilde D, tilde, uh, D tilde uh, matrix is uh, written in this file. 
Additionally, we also have uh, the, in, the output of seedname.sim. So this is not used in the 1E90, but uh, uh, this, what, in this file, the symmetry of the information of the symmetry operations employed in this PW2 1E90 are written in this file. Then uh, after that, uh, we uh, execute 1A90. And uh, for this uh, input of 1A90, we, additional, we, we need additional input of size symmetry. Then uh, with this additional input, the 1A90 create the symmetry adapted 1A function. So basically the calculation is very simple. Just we need additional inputs of right DMN and the size symmetry. And then uh, uh, for, you, for the educational purpose, uh, let me uh, show an example of the uh, uh, DMN file, uh, capital D, using the uh, 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 calcium kappa O2 case. So the calcium kappa O2 is a member of uh, high TC cuprate. And the crystal structure is given by this. So uh, it consists of uh, calcium kappa O2 layer and the calcium layer. And it is a quasi two dimensional uh, material. And the space group is P4MMM. And we have 16 symmetry operations in total. Then uh, uh, let me uh, consider to create the DP model of, for this uh, compound. So if we perform the DFT uh, band the structure calculations, we obtain this uh, band structure. So red one uh, is the DFT band structure and the green, uh, sorry, the blue one is the uh, one band for the DP model. For the DP model. Then uh, for creating the DP model, we put the projection of X square minus Y square orbital for the kappa site and the PX orbital for this oxygen and the PY orbital for this oxygen site. Okay. Then uh, the X square minus Y square orbitals is a basis function for the uh, one dimensional irreducible representation for this uh, size symmetry group of the kappa. And the uh, uh, multi multiplicity of the site is one in this kappa site. Okay. Next, we consider this uh, oxygen PX orbital. It also uh, form a one dimensional uh, irreducible representation. So here, uh, around, uh, about this site, we do not have uh, 90 C4 uh, symmetry, right? Then the, uh, we, uh, the PX and the PY orbitals are not equivalent anymore. So the PX orbital is, becomes a base function for the uh, one dimensional radius representation. And the multiplicity of the site is two. So namely, we uh, uh, rotate uh, this site by 90 degrees rotations. Then uh, this site goes to uh, this site. Then the PX orbital centered at this site is transformed to PY-like uh, orbital uh, centered at this oxygen site. Okay. Then uh, this capital uh, D matrix uh, is a transformation of the symmetry adapted uh, one gauge block functions by the symmetry operations. Then uh, let me discuss uh, the, uh, uh, the concrete example of this uh, uh, D matrix. 
So here we do not discuss uh, D tilde matrix, D, D tilde matrix, because uh, uh, this D tilde matrix shows how the quantum wave functions are transformed by the symmetry operations. But numerically obtained the quantum wave function has random phase. So this D tilde matrix depends on this uh, random phase. So here we do not discuss this D tilde. But we can discuss uh, uh, this uh, capital D analytically. So let me uh, uh, consider uh, the capital D matrix for the 90 degrees rotation at gamma point. Okay. So at the gamma point, the x square minus y square like uh, broth wave function looks like this. So at each kappa site, we have x square minus y square orbital. And the phase of the x square minus x square minus y square orbital is the same among all the kappa site. We also have the uh, px-like broth wave functions. And also, we also have a py-like one-year gauge broth wave functions like this. Then uh, capital D shows how these uh, broth wave functions are transformed by the symmetry operations. And uh, let me show an example for this 90 degrees rotation. So in the case of uh, x k minus y k orbital case, so if we apply the 90 degrees rotations, then the, uh, the, after the transformation, the broth wave function looks like this. Then uh, we can see that we obtain the uh, additional phase of minus one. Right? So here this amplitude is plus, but here it becomes minus here. Right? Okay. Also, if we consider the transformation of px like uh, broth wave function, uh, after the transformation, the broth wave function becomes like this. Then uh, it transforms to the uh, py like uh, broth wave function. Now, similarly, the py like orbitals uh, are transformed to uh, px like uh, broth wave function. But here we obtain the additional uh, phase of uh, minus one. So in the case of gamma point and also the 90 degrees rotation case, the, the contents of the D matrix becomes like this. So the x square minus y, y square orbital obtain the additional uh, phase of minus one and the px like orbital uh, but is transformed to transform to py like orbital and the py like orbitals it transformed to uh, px like orbital with additional phase of minus one and uh, you can clearly see that the matrix the matrix is broke diagonal for each irreducible representations and the broke size is given by the uh, dimension of the irreducible representation times the multiplicity of the site. Then uh, uh, this is the obtained the obtain the symmetry adapted one in functions for the calcium kappa O2. So here this is the x square minus y square orbitals for the kappa orbital for the kappa side and uh, this is the px orbital for the oxygen side and this is the py uh, orbital for the oxygen side so actually in this case the uh, the symmetry adapted one function is the same as the maximum localized one functions but for example in the case of kappa as i already said if we create the maximally localized one function for kappa, then the, the center of, of the S orbital deviate from the uh, kappa site. But uh, using this uh, symmetry adapted mode, we can uh, create the uh, S orbital uh, centered at the kappa site. 
And if you want, we can also create the S-like orbital uh, centered at half by half by half by point. If we use the uh, information of the site symmetry group of half by half by half by. So finally, uh, let me uh, show an example uh, for the H3S case. So, so for this H3S, uh, you can uh, also uh, try uh, the symmetry adapted when you function in this uh, tutorial. Okay. So the H3S is a member of uh, hydride uh, superconductors at high pressure. So if we apply extremely high pressure, then uh, the H3S crystallizes into solid. Then uh, uh, it, it crystal, its crystal structure is like a BCC-like uh, structure. Then uh, this solid shows a high TC uh, superconductivity. Okay. Then uh, if we perform the band structure calculation for this uh, H3S compound, uh, we obtain the uh, band structure like this. So here, green uh, three. The black one is the DFT band structure, and the red one is the DF, uh, one year band. The DF, uh, sorry, black one is DFT, and the red one is one year band. Then in this case, uh, we clearly see the difference from the, from the maximum local as one year function and the symmetry adapted when it functions. So this is the maximally localized when it function. And this is the uh, output of symmetry adapted when it functions. Oh, sorry. So here uh, we put the projection of sulfur S orbital, and the sulfur P orbital, and the sulfur D orbital, and the hydrogen S orbital. Then, uh, for example, if we uh, look at uh, sulfur uh, P block, we clearly see that the symmetry of Px and Py and Pz orbitals are broken. And also the center also deviate from the uh, sulfur side. Sulfur side is located at 0, 0, 0. And it clearly deviate from 0, 0, 0 side, right? But if we uh, apply the symmetry adapted mode, the sulfur uh, orbitals are located at uh, 0, 0, 0 point. And also uh, we have the symmetry among the Px and the Py and the Pz orbital. The spread is the same, okay? But as I said, if because we use uh, we put the symmetry constraint in the case of symmetry adapted one function. The total spread should be bigger than the uh, maximum localized one functions. So here the final spread is 10.99 something, but in the case of maximum maximum localized one functions, it is 8.16. So clearly the uh, the spread of the uh, symmetry adapted mode is bigger. But for example, if we look at the individual orbital, like uh, hydrogen S orbital, here uh, the spread is about 0.52 or 0.51, but here uh, it is smaller in the case of symmetry adapted mode. So if we look at the individual orbital, the uh, spread of the individual orbital can be smaller than the maximally localized one functions. But if we look at the total spread, it should always be uh, bigger uh, than the uh, uh, maximally localized one functions. Okay, then uh, now oh, this symmetry adapted mode is implemented in the uh, version three of the 1E90. And uh, you can also try the symmetry adapted uh, mode from the official example in the 1E90. So the symmetry adapted mode are prepared by the example 21 and the example 22. So you can uh, also try the symmetry adapted mode uh, from these examples. 
Okay, finally, uh, we uh, uh, I want to uh, uh, what we need to be careful is that uh, sometimes uh, uh, there is a misunderstanding misunderstanding that we can always get uh, one in orbital whose centers are exactly at some atoms. But what we should be careful is that we cannot always get atom-centered one year orbitals with the uh, symmetry adapted mode. So to uh, get atom-centered one year orbitals, actually we need uh, proper uh, symmetry. So let me show an example using the uh, molybdenum, molybdenum disulfide case, uh, monolayer case. So in the case of monolayer case, the, the sulfur layer here is sandwiched by the vacuum and vacuum layer and also the molybdenum layer. So it means that there is no symmetry uh, between upside and downside, right? Then we do not have symmetry. Then uh, uh, if we put, for example, the PZ-like uh, orbital projection to this sulfur uh, atom, then we can obtain the atomic like one year functions. But if we look at the center of the uh, one year orbitals in the standard output, then uh, this center should deviate from the uh, sulfur atom. But this, the, 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 in this case, the deviation is very small. And if we visualize, uh, uh, we do not see much difference. Uh, from the atom center, exactly atom center, the one orbitals. But numerically, the center should deviate uh, from center because we do not have symmetry. So it means that we need proper symmetry uh, to keep uh, the center uh, exactly at atoms. Okay, to summarize, the, uh, the symmetry adaptive one function is given by the combination of the maximum localization procedure and the symmetry constraint, then uh, we obtain the irreducible representation of the side symmetry group. Then uh, for the future, future perspective, uh, we are considering the uh, frozen window. And uh, for this topic, uh, the, my colleague Takashi Koretsune will be talking about at the developer purpose meeting. Also the extension to non collinear case is also uh, interesting future perspective. Okay, for the lecture part, uh, that's it. Uh, then now we can take questions. Thank you for your kind attention. Thank you very much for the very nice talk. So there are a few questions on the chat that I would like to ask first. So there were two questions that are essentially equivalent and they ask what about other uh, ab initial engines, you know, does this symmetry <coughs> adapted vanier function method work also with VASP? Has it, has it even been implemented only in quantum espresso? Yeah, for the moment, uh, it is implemented in only in the uh, quantum espresso. But uh, we can easily create an interface from VASP or other ab initial package because basically what we need uh, is just the additional input of this uh, 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 seed name dot dmn, right? So the uh, in this seed name dot dmn file, uh, we have the information of this capital D and uh, this uh, D tilde. So basically, the interface from other program package to one ninety, they create a mn file and the mnn file, right? So if uh, uh, we can create the MN file from other initial packages, uh, we can use symmetry adapted mode in the one in IT. But uh, uh, for the moment, I do not know other code uh, implementing this DMN file. Okay. But it should be not, not, it should be not very difficult. Okay, uh, there was a question, but not really cl clear, by Zlata Pelkina. 
if you can actually re-ask your question. Well, in the meantime, that while we wait, are there any questions here uh, in Trieste? Yes, there is one. Uh, thank you very much. Very nice presentation. So I wanted to ask about the uh, atom center at one year functions. So is it possible to constrain the one year functions to atomic centers? I could imagine some defect structure where only translation remains the symmetry operation, but I still would like to get one year functions centered at the atoms. Mm, I don't think we can. From from the symmetry adapted mode, the answer is I think no. Because uh, as I already said, uh, uh, what we can do from the symmetry adapted mode is uh, put the symmetry constraint on the one-year functions. And if we do, and if we have defect or something other, if the symmetry is lower from, for example, defect or the slab uh, structure, then uh, the then the, if the symmetry is lost, then uh, we cannot obtain the uh, exactly atom center one year orbitals in that case. Thank you. So uh, we, we always need sim some symmetry uh, to do that. Okay, <clears throat> so I see that Plata has uh, rephrased the question. But, if, but, uh, if we actually, uh, yeah? what we can do is just, just we uh, create the one shot uh, one year function without any uh, 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 minimization of the spread. Then, uh, in this case, in many cases, uh, the uh, uh, the center of the one year orbitals are almost stay at the uh, uh, center of the the symmetry is higher than the maximally localized uh, one year functions. So it is a kind of practical uh, solution. Okay, so. Vlata rephrased the question and she asked if we, com I mean, if we compare the hopings between uh, the Hamiltonian constructed with uh, symmet <coughs> symmetry adapted vanier functions and the one constructed with maximal high vanier function, will they be different? Yeah, if, if these uh, maximal rogas of vanier functions and symmetry adapted vanier functions are different, then it should be uh, different. But in, many, in many cases, if we create the maximally localized one-year functions, they keep the symmetry, uh, they keep the original symmetry. Then in that case, uh, the, uh, the symmetry adapted one-year functions and the maximally localized one-year function is the same. So the whole thing should be the same. But for example, in the case of this uh, H3S case, clearly the symmetry is broken in the maximally localized one-year function then uh, the, 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 the symmetry of the hopping should also be broken in this case. But basically these two are just related by some unitary matrix. So if we plot the band structure it is the same, but the, uh, if we just look at the uh, individual value of the hopping, then it should be different between the symmetry adapted case and the maximum localized case. Okay, uh, are there any questions from the uh, Euclid, uh, from the Adriatico? I have a question. Please go ahead, Stepan. Yeah, it's okay. So thank you for the nice talk. Uh, uh, my question is basically to the last slide about the frozen window. So mm -hmm. well, just, of course, it's more a discussion for developers meeting, but briefly. Is it uh, a problem in the formalism or just uh, some small lack of implementation? What is the yeah, problem? Uh, why, why it was not implemented from the beginning? Yeah, yeah. So in the uh, original implementation of the frozen window, we just put the uh, energy window for the frozen window, right? Yeah. But the energy does not care about symmetry at all, right? Yeah. So, uh, so. It, if uh, uh, we have some uh, uh, state that does not uh, satisfy the symmetry in this frozen window, mm -hmm. then uh, we can uh, uh, we cannot uh, create the symmetry adapted mode. So uh, uh, 
to uh, create the uh, to be compatible with the frozen window the frozen window should also care about the symmetry mm -hmm. not only the energy but also the symmetry yeah, in the frozen window that that is a problem mm -hmm. okay okay so if there are no other questions i think it's time to move to the hands-on uh, yeah, i think we have additional there is one Okay, yeah, okay. We want to use this opening. Yeah, the question is whether it's better to use the symmetry adapted, I think, or the usual maximum analyzed uh, to construct, a, I guess, a tight bonding model. Yeah, so if we want to analyze the uh, symmetry property using the tight bonding model, uh, the symmetry adapted mode should be better, right? But if we... Uh, so as already Ivo uh, answered on Wednesday, the physical quantity calculated by uh, the winding function, for example, uh, the, uh, uh, the uh, whole conductivity or optical conductivity, uh, this should be the same. Basically, the, the, the symmetry adapted mode and the maximally localized winding functions uh, uh, translated by the unitary transformation. And uh, uh, basically, the physical quantity computed by this model uh, should be the same. But uh, if we want to analyze the uh, symmetry property, then uh, uh, the symmetry adapted mode will help. OK. So I guess we can move to the tutorial now mm -hmm. uh, yeah please so basically uh, the uh, you can find the tutorial tutorials in the uh, day 5 am1 uh, SAWF symmetry adapted one functions just copy this uh, directory to uh, what you want <laughs> in the home directory or something like that. Then uh, basically we have uh, three tutorials. Uh, one is the gallium arsenide, and, uh, uh, and the others are kappa and H3S. So what I suggest is that you should you start from uh, gallium arsenide, then uh, move on to the uh, kappa and the H3S. Then uh, uh, you can uh, follow the instruction of uh, readme in each directory. And uh, importantly, uh, sometimes you need to modify uh, the uh, uh, input file. Then uh, if, we, if you... Uh, get some, uh, some error, most probably it is a mistake. There is a mistake in the input file. Then in this case, uh, please compare the input. Uh, you can find the, the reference input file in the left directory. Then uh, you can compare your input and the reference input. Then uh, see the difference between them. Then uh, you can avoid unnecessary error from the input. I, th I think what we can do is that, uh, you know, all the participants here, they just start to work on the tutorials. Yeah. I have a microphone. So in case you have specific questions, you just raise your hand or you call me and then I will bring the microphone and you can ask directly the question to Izuke. Yeah. 